In this video, we're going to talk about combining pages from different demo sites. So Bridge comes with over 376 demo sites that you can import onto your own site. We often get asked whether it's possible to import pages from different demos. Now, when you import a demo site, you will get all the pages from that demo site and also all the design settings. And it's not really possible to import two different demos at the same time on one particular site. However, what you can do is you can import one demo onto your site and then on a local testing site, you can import a different demo. And then from your testing site, you can copy and paste pages onto your live site. So let's see an example of how this is done. So let's say that I want to use the bridge original demo. So this is the original bridge demo. And over here, I have this skater demo opened. And let's say that I want to import a page from this skater demo. So this about us page, let's say that I want to import this page onto my site. So first of all, let's go to my site. So this here, bridgetutorial.codeinteractive.com. This is the site that I will be working on today. And as we can see, I've already imported the bridge original demo. Now, if you're not sure how to import a demo, please check our video on how to import demos. And over here at bridge.test, this here is my local testing site. And I'm using XAMPP to run my local site. If you would like to set up a local site on your computer, we will leave a tutorial under the video description so you can go ahead and check it out. All right, so I previously said that I want to use this About Us page. So let's go ahead and find this page on my local site. I'm going to navigate to Pages, and here we have the About Us page. Up here, I'm going to click on Classic Mode in order to bring up WordPress Bakery's backend editor. And I'm going to click somewhere in this box. I'm going to select all the code and I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go to my live site. So here it is. Let's go to pages. I'm going to add a new page. Let's call this page about us. This page is already in the backend editor mode. If it's not, you should click on classic mode in order to get the backend editor. Over here, I'm going to paste the code that I've just copied. All right, now let's click on backend editor in order to get the classic mode. So this is the page that I've copied from my local site. Let's publish this page. And let's view this page. So this is the page. Let's take a look at the original page. We can see that all of the elements have imported, but some elements have not. For example, my title area has not imported. And also my footer and my header will not import this way. This way I've only imported the content of the page. So in order to set up a title area like we see here, I will have to do this on the page. So I'm going to navigate to the bottom of the page. And here where it says code title, this is where I can set up my title area for the page. So let's upload a background image. I'm going to set my title area height to 600 pixels. Now looking at this title text here, we can see that it's centered and white, and this is my current title text. So let's set my title text color to white. I'm going to set my text size to large. My title text alignment, I'm going to choose center. And I'm also going to get rid of the separator under the title. 
All right, now let's update this page. And let's refresh it. My title area now looks very similar to the one on the original demo. All right, now what about the images? When you import the page from your local site, the images will not import. Here over the counters, we see these little icons and they're actually images. So everywhere on my page where I see this single image element, I'm going to go ahead and add my own images. So let's go ahead and add these little images over the counters. I have previously saved my images, so I'm just going to add them. And down here, we also see an image element. That's this image here. So let's go ahead and add an image. Let's update the page and let's refresh. So now my page is looking a bit more like the original page here. Looking at this page, we see that this section has a white background, as does this one. And on my page, everything has a gray background. So this is because my page is using a gray page background. So let's set the page background to white. So here under code general, I'm going to add a white page background color and let's save. Now the counter section here, the gray background is in grid, while on this page, the background is spanning full width of the page. This is probably because this page is using a different page template than the one that I'm using. Let's go to my local site here for a moment to see which page template this page is utilizing. So here it says it's using the full width page template. Let's go back to my site. And here we see that I'm using the default page template. So when you're importing pages this way, you should make sure that you're using the same page template as the original page because otherwise your page layout will not be the same. So let's set this to full width and let's save. Let's refresh my page. So now my page is looking very similar to the original page here. I'm just going to go ahead and change this counter color to something darker. All right, so now I'm pretty happy with the way that this page is looking. Now there's one more thing. Looking at this page here, we can see that the grid is wider than on my page here. So let's go to my local site to see which grid size this page is using. The grid size for your site is set in code options. So let's navigate to code options general. Here under initial width of content, we can see that it's set to 1300 pixels. Now let's go to my site. I'm going to go to code options general again. And here it's set to 1100 pixels. So if I want to use the wider grid, I'm also going to set this to 1300 pixels. And this change is going to affect all pages of my site. So let's refresh. Now my grid size is the same width as this demo here.
So I've achieved a look that's very similar to this page on the skater demo. There are some elements that are still slightly different. For example, the about us text is not exactly the same. This heading here is not the same as this heading here. And these differences are happening because my global settings are different than the ones on this demo here. So here in code options, we have these settings that affect all pages of our site. For example, in fonts, this is where we can set up our typography. And all the settings that you apply here, as I mentioned, they will affect all pages of your site. And if you import pages from different demos by copying and pasting their code, those pages will also inherit the global settings. Now, if you would like to go ahead and use the settings from a different demo, for example, if I wanted my typography to be the same as on this demo here, you can import only the settings for that demo. So let's see how that can be done. I'm going to navigate to code import. Here under import type, there's an option called options. And if you perform this type of import, then you will get all of the settings in code options from that demo. Now, if you're performing this options import, then you need to be careful because if you previously made any settings in code options, your settings will get overridden. And also, if you import the options, they will take effect on all pages of your site. Okay, so now I've shown you how to import a page from a different demo. Now, what about if you want to combine sections of different pages on your site? Let's see how that can be done. I'm going to open this About Us page. And I'm also going to open the Services page. So let's say that on this About Us page, at the end of the page, I would like to add the service tables here. So how could I add this section on this page? First of all, I'm going to go ahead and open up this services page. So let's go to pages and find this page. Once again, I'm going to click on the classic mode button in order to bring up the backend editor, and I'm going to select and copy all the code. Now I'm going to open up this About Us page. I'm going to go into the backend editor, and I'm going to place my cursor at the very end of the page. So make sure that it's placed at the very end of the code. And then I'm going to paste. I'm going to bring back the classic editor. Now what I've done is I've pasted the content of this page at the end of this page. Here is the content of the services page. I'm not going to need this process section. I only need the services section. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the process section. I also see some empty rows here that were imported. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these rows. So here I have the services section. So let's go ahead and save this page. And let's refresh my page. And we can see now that this service section is at the bottom of my page. So by using this method, by copying and pasting pages to other pages on your site, you can combine sections from different pages in order to get that layout that you're looking for. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you learned something new. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions about this video, you can ask us in the comment section.